We're dealing with an advanced case of AIDS. He's on Foscarnet and um, D4T. His uh, T blood count, uh, the self count, remains stubbornly under 100. He's slowly going blind because TMV is invading the retinas. When he had his first seizure, we thought it was a uh, probably a reaction to the Foscarnet. Mm. And then the CAT scan came back and it showed what appeared to be a toxoplasmic encephalitis. So we started treating him with steroids. However, the LP culture for uh, toxo came back negative. So that's why we've scheduled a brain biopsy with you for tomorrow. Mm. Why bother? I ordered a biopsy doctor because I want to know what we're dealing with. Well, we both know it's probably lymphoma. And so we'll proceed accordingly. <laughs> this is such a waste. Of what? Time. Of money. Okay? There's only one way it's going to end. This patient is very much alive at this point, and he is fighting for as much good time on this planet as he can get. So I'm going to see that he gets it. Yeah. So I want this biopsy done first thing in the morning. Is that clear? Not by me. Did I hear you correctly? In my opinion, Dr. Jones, you were putting the surgical team at unnecessary risk. Okay, fine. I will do the biopsy. And by the way, Dr. Dorman, you're fired. Yeah, well, I'll just take this to Dr. Hardy. Go for it. Sorry, you witnessed that. It's not typical, believe me. That's okay. What is... Lymphoma? Lymphoma? Why don't we just wait? guts and heart and who don't. Who does? Good old Dr. Tony Jones. Yeah. Hey, here's the case. Well, your vitals are strong and your biopsy side is real clean, so I'd say you're doing just fine. I don't need a chart to tell me the more distance I put between me and those damn steroids, the better I'm going to feel. I'm sorry you had a bad time with them. You know, some people just can't tolerate the very drugs that other people respond to like crazy. But you are doing better. I'll check in with you later. Thank you. You don't have to stick around here, you know? You trying to get rid of me already? No, I just know how much you hate hospitals. I don't blame you. Hey, you know, I'm willing to make a sacrifice. You owe me big time after this. How did you big time before this? <laughs> hey! Whoa! What'd you do with Stone Cave? <laughs> this is cutting edge. Oh, Stone, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. No, you just told me you didn't want to leave. And it's all right. No, it's not. All right. Look, Sonny, would you just please hear me out on this, okay? You know, I could probably just leave bad enough alone. But at this point in my life, I got nothing to lose. I know you guys are furious with each other. And you've got all kinds of reasons to be. And I can really relate. There was a time when if somebody did you wrong, they were my enemy too. It was automatic. But that was before I knew I was dying. It changes your perspective. 
come from my perspective. You guys don't hate each other as much as you'd like everyone to believe that you do. Stone, listen, um, I don't think you should waste your time thinking about us, you know? Well, I do. You know, when I called my sister and I told her that I wanted to see her, I was hoping that when it was all over with, that she'd be cool about it and she'd be able to be my sister. But she couldn't. And it hurt. But I wasn't going to let it get me crazy. And I realized that staying angry is a real load to carry. And ultimately, it was her loss. That's the truth. So maybe you can unload some of the anger you're carrying. All it does is weigh you down, man. It makes it so you can't see clearly. And believe me, seeing clearly is a real gift. What are you asking us to do, Stone? Well, you guys are always asking me what you can do for me. And I mean, you do a lot. But this is what I really want. I want when the two of you are together here with me. Could you please be nice to each other? Could you not be angry? Humor me because it matters. Yeah, I can. No, you want nice? I'll try nice. <laughs> Thank you. Go. I needed it like a hole in the head. Oh. <laughs> it was a joke. Sonny, oh. tell her I was joking. <laughs> this Hi. whole thing has turned him into a uh, real comedian. <laughs> yeah, if I could just get you guys to lighten up around here. You all sit around like somebody's dying around here or something. Ha uh ha, -huh. I'm hysterical. <laughs> when do you get the results? Uh, probably sometime tomorrow. What are they looking for? Something long and complicated that none of us can pronounce. But you can bet if they needed a piece of my brain for it, it's not all good. I hate this. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Sorry for the interruption. Well, you seem like you're in a better mood. <laughs> Must be the new hairdo. <laughs> you know, a new do always works wonders for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is, I don't feel like biting your head off anymore. Well, that's the relief. I'm really sorry I was such a jerk, Amy. You weren't that bad. You should try going to a staff meeting sometime. Or better yet, <laughs> hang out with a bunch of surgeons. That <laughs> attitude. Did you fill out your little menu card for tomorrow? Uh, no. No, you didn't. Well, why don't you do that, and I'll be back for it in just a little bit. All right. See ya. Bye. Isn't she perky? I think she's sweet. Did I say she wasn't? Why don't you pick for me? We knew my eyesight wasn't going to get better. Shoot, I'm in the middle of a really good book, too. The sequel to Interview with the Vampire. How about uh, Caesar salad and uh, fettuccine Alfredo? You're kidding. Of course I'm kidding, but you can have tuna casserole and fake it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might as well. It'll taste like cardboard anyway. All right, I'm going to take this to Amy. <clears throat> hey, do you want me to read this to you? Would you mind? Of course not. Are you kidding me? Hours later, when I finally went down the stairs into the street, I saw a pale and lovely ghost in the shadows image of the young French explorer in soiled white linen and brown leather boots, straw hat down over her eyes. I knew who she was and that we had once loved each other. But it seemed for the moment to be something I could scarce remember 
or truly believe. I think I wanted to say something mean to her, to wound her and drive her away. <laughs>